What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm here with a bit of a haul for you today. So, recently I went to, well, I didn't go, but I, I visited the Project Life Retreat from Scrapbooking from Scratch in the Hunter Valley, and I actually taught there, which was really cool. I taught um, three classes on the Saturday, and I ended up, I started teaching at 10 in the morning, and I think I finished at about 11 p.m. that night. So it was a really fun weekend. But of course, I had to make some purchases. So I thought I'd show you the things that I've got. So, um, first of all, I got a new dilution. So I'm going to open this up because I bought this bubblegum pink when they first brought out the paints. And, oh, that sounds better. I don't know what it is. Let me get my other one. Okay, so Diane Reevely has actually addressed this on YouTube, I think, on the Ranger channel. But the first recipe for the pink turned out really gluggy. Like, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's just really gluggy and thick and gross. And it didn't, it didn't spread well. So I have been using this, but it's been driving me absolutely crazy for when I want particular little flowy paint. So I will still keep it and probably use it for some backgrounds in my art journal, but it was driving me a little bit crazy. So I got another one because I did change the recipe. There you go, much better. So you can see the difference. So if you were one of the people that got caught out when you first purchase these. It was only the pink colour. It was the only, only one. So I got a new one of those. Then I've been having such fun with the Colour Blast, which is um, textured modelling paste with a bit of glimmer in it. But I got two more colours. I got Singing the Blues and Just Blue. I also got a new white dilutions because I needed it and I was running a little bit low. I grabbed two stays. I know, I know, I know. Look at this colour. It's freaking green. But the reason why I decided, hang on, let me just work on this focus a bit. Mm, there you are. The reason why I got it is it's the only green that I really, really like. So it's an emerald green. Open up, please. And it's a, oh, my hands are so cold. It's freezing today. Sorry about the noise. Oh, look, Adele, there's a little rippy. Oh, that would have been helpful to see at the start. Um, the reason why I got it is because I thought for some pages, it's nice to have a bit of a green ink in the background. So this one's Emerald City. And then this one, I have navy blue. I have light blue. But I don't have what I've always called a middle blue. Sorry for the noise. Jeez, they really don't want you to get in that packaging, do they? And this was like a nice middle blue. So I got those two. That's called Blue Hawaii. Then I also got these two. They're the Nouveau Crystal Drops. And these are like the metallic solid ones. So I did get the glitter ones, but... I saw these and I just had to get them. So if you haven't seen the, all the range, but they're, you can make, hang on, let me focus this. You can kind of make your own enamel dots with them. Like that. It's a bit hard to see, but yeah. So I haven't tried them out yet, but I'm going to have some fun with those, I think. So she only had some colors available. I think there was, um, white, black, purple, gold, a different gold. I think that was it. I think that was it. Um, so I picked up those ones. I also got two more distress stains. I got the picked raspberry, which I freaking love. It's so beautiful. And the peacock feathers. So I added those two to my collection. I also got the Scotch Tacky Glue, which is what you girls in America seem to always use, and I'm jealous of you, so I finally got it. And I got myself some fine liner bottles because I used my other ones that I already had, and I've put this glue in here. So now, it's so cold, my hands just are not working today, sorry guys. So now I can really finally... 
apply my glue. How minuscule is that? Teeny tiny. And that's a bit of a, a poo to get on, so I'm not going to do that on camera. Then, well, there's the other bottle, so you get two in a pack. I also got some of this Liquitex ink, which I've been wanting for a while, but haven't got. And I thought, why not? They're only $9, and I thought, we'll give it a go. I just got black and white, so it's Liquitex ink. And I think I'm going to use this for some brush script and also just to, wow, that's nice. Just to do splatters and stuff with. So yeah, so I got the black, carbon black, and I think it's called titanium white. Yeah, so let me know if you have the Liquitex inks and what you think of them. I also, I got a few things, guys. <laughs> um, that's it for the messy mixed media stuff. So I might just pause you for a sec. Okay, so I also got this ink palette, which is just mm, packaging. It's just an empty um, paint palette. And my thought is, is that I can grab my watercolors in the tubes, the Winsor & Newton ones, pop them in here, and then I don't have to open the bottles all the time. So that's my plan. Let me know if you've had tubed watercolors and have put them in something like this and if there's any tips or tricks or anything I should know. So I got that. I got one stamp. This is a Darkroom Door Texture Stamp. Texture, texture stamp. It's a texture stamp. It's a texture stamp. And it's like a, a fibrous netting kind of design. And I don't bother. I put this straight into my little container. Let me grab it. This is my little container of background stamps that just sits on the top shelf of my uh, mixed media trolley. And I just put it straight in there. I don't worry about mounting them. I just use them as is. There's that one. I got some stencils. I went a bit stencil cray cray, but I'm really liking stencils at the moment, so it's okay. I got this one from Donna Downey, which is, yeah, her own brand. Um, and it's like, a, it's called Scribble Script, and it's just a messy script. I thought that would look gorgeous with texture paste on it in the background. There's Donna. Um, I've never met Donna, but she looks like a lovely person. I also got this one from Flutter by Designs. Anita, I finally got the heart one. I'm so excited. Um, this is my friend Anita's um, company and I've been wanting this one for a while. So I finally got that. I got this one, which is the Dina Wakely Media Paint. Oh, price is covering it. Paint something squares. Paint comb squares. And the cool thing about this is that you can use it for... Um, stenciling with the squares but then it's got all these like different combs in the back and the edges and you can use those as well so I'll do a video on this one because I've got some ideas for that and it's really it's really thick like really really thick I got this Tim Holtz one it's called bubble and I liked it because it was messy circles and I'm always a fan of the messy circle I'm a fan of circles I have a thing for circles I really do this next one was a three pack and it was lucky. I actually had this one in the large one in my um, cart, but then I realized that I could get three of them for a little bit more, but I'd much prefer that because I like smaller stencils anyway. So it's got, do they have names? Mm, no, it's set 16, um, but it's like a, a scaly looking one, a ruler and a eye chart. So I love that. And I've got this one too, which is like a, Kind of like a chevron, off-centered chevron numbers and a geometric square design, cube design type thing. I also got some 8x8 um, page protectors for the 8x8 albums. I bought one from Spotlight a while so ago. I want to make a wedding album for um, one of my friends that got, well, two of my friends got married and I want to make wedding albums for them, just little ones. So I bought them out. I bought Peter out in page protectors because I thought that way I've got them and I'm good to go. <laughs> then I did get some papers and things. So I got this vellum from Fine, Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy called Hooray. It's just really nice with numbers. I got this one from The Bloom. It's a gold foiled um, floral pattern. 
I got two of these because it's my, one of my favourite vellums of all time and it's a confetti um, circle type thing um, and it's from Stuart Calico Amelia so I got two of those then she had a ten, uh, she had a, a bin that had um, 10 scrapbook papers for a dollar so I bought up big so I only spent $3 and I got 30 papers. I got 10 of this one because I thought that would be perfect for art journaling and I have some subscriber little presents that I want to make with that. I got 10 of the same one. So sorry, it's um, it's old. It's um, fontworks, fontworks.com and it's called Roll Out. And you can see by that really, really trendy graffiti writing that they were really cool <laughs> I got the same in the red one and oh yeah on the back it's got green which I won't be using and on the back of that one it's got red which would go well with that one but I probably won't use it then I just got a variety of different ones that I thought I could use for art journaling so they're old papers there's um, pink paisley heat wave um, the girls papier on holiday Lily B designs another one of those hall pass we are memory keepers October afternoon haunted hallows Teresa Collins and October afternoon very old one which I love because you can take out the little like you can punch out some of the little bits in it. And then this one, I'm actually going to frame this and use it as some artwork because I like it so much. It's very Aaron and I. We love space stuff and nerdy looking charts and things. <laughs> so that's all I got. Actually, I did get one more thing, but I'm not telling you about it because I'm going to use it for a class and I don't want to give any secrets away. So I got another thing. Imagine it's here. But I'm not telling you about it yet because I'm going to start filming a class next week with it. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. And please give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see what I do with all this stuff. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.